All right, enzyme therapy. Well, the funny thing about the DMK enzyme therapy is it's not the enzymes in the products at all that count. We've had so many competitors and various people try to go through our manuals, try to go through all of our uh, different training protocols, and even our products, try to reverse engineer them to find out what kind of enzymes we're using. What are the secrets here with enzymes? And the joke of it is to me privately is that I merely titled these things enzymes simply because of the enzymic, uh, sorry, enzymatic body itself. Uh, when I was a young guy, when a young kid, and I had terrible acne, uh, my parents took me to every dermatologist in the city that was popular, that was well known, and nothing worked. Uh, and of course they were doing all the old-fashioned approaches to um, acne treatment in those days. Some of it still exists to this day, oddly enough. Uh, so I just started studying on my own, being a very unhappy young man. And one of the things that I kept coming across in research and books and the library and everything else that I went into had to do with enzymatic action, and we are the body enzyme. We are nothing more, basically, than a bag of fluids, a few chemicals, orchestrated by enzymes and held together with electromagnetic waves. That's the human body at its most common denominator. So the enzyme treatments were not based at all on enzymes that are inside the formulas, although, of course, we do have enzymes, but the enzymes in the skin itself, kick-starting the enzymes to do what they're supposed to do, to initiate action, to speed up molecular uh, collisions, to make things happen. Uh, probably the most important uh, enzymes in our body are, are in our skin that we deal with are transferase enzymes. These actually carry messages across cell membranes telling everything where to go, what to do, and what sort of interaction to take so something actually happens. Probably the enzymatic mass that creates our reverse osmosis is our most successful tool in skin revision. If I were told by, let's say, a corrupt and evil government that overtook America that I could pick out one treatment out of our entire arsenal for skin revision, if I had to throw away everything else, but I was allowed to keep one, I would keep our enzyme treatments. They're the flagship of all of our success. Not only do they remove superficial cuticle buildup, they also slightly dilate all the peripheral capillaries, which rushes new oxygen from the lungs through the system into the skin cells, into the mitochondria of the skin cell, which is the battery pack of all skin cells, and then on the return visit, take away of toxins and effluvia. There's also a reverse osmosis process that goes on that allows for homeostasis in skin. Uh, how this basically works, uh, anybody that has the enzyme mask one, two, or three, they feel the pulsing effects. The pulsing means a rest phase in between the reverse osmosis action. And uh, it pulls osmotic pressure from extracellular uh, fluids that may be too low, which causes dermatitis and inflammation and, and so on, into a high reverse osmosis position, therefore creating a balance throughout all the extracellular uh, fluids in the tissue. This is called homeostasis. The Chinese refer to it, of course, as yin and yang, perfect balance. And when this is achieved, then the client or the patient is well on its way, or their way, to rapid healing, whether it be from plastic surgery or uh, pre and post, or whether it be acne treatments, or whatever type of treatments are done using enzymes. It's the enzymes in the skin itself that are being addressed, not so much what enzymes are in the products themselves. Of course, we do have certain uh, crude enzyme uh, formulas that are more like meat eaters that digest dead protein, which is uh, dead skin cells. And those are very common, uh, papain, bromelain, uh, these types of enzymes. And they're very effective. Uh, a lot of people in the, in the industry use these. I think ours are better simply because we don't put a lot of fillers. They're, they're fairly direct, they're fairly pure in their approach, and uh, they do the job. But nothing compared to kick-starting and initiating action with enzymes within our own skin, and that's mostly what we do.